Welcome you all to grade 7 English online class. Today we are going to start unit number 4, a busy day. So take out your English pupils book and turn to page number 42. Uh, we are going to discuss activity number 1, activity number 2 today. So as usually the first activity is an act out. Since you are at home we can't do this act out uh, as a role play or, or as a dialogue. Uh, as a dialogue so normally we are doing this kind of activity activities as group work or in front of the class by dividing you all into groups but today we are doing uh, we are going to do this as a reading comprehension activity uh, first uh, I'm suggesting you all to pause this video and read this act out loudly because they have not given any of the new uh, any new words here so you can read it loudly after that you can um, replay the video and go through the dialogue with me right lahiru woke up at 5 a.m to go to school he made his bed washed his face and went to the kitchen to collect his lunch box so the act out is all about lahiru and now where is he he is in the kitchen and what is he going to do he is going to uh, he went to the kitchen to collect his lunch box from his mother so who are the characters given in this uh, act out lahiru mother and lahiru's sister there are only three characters given here right i'm going to read it uh, i'm going to read it read it uh, normally not like a dialogue just i'm going to read this uh, here's your lunch do you have cricket practices today not today mother i have some, uh, i have scouting this afternoon you had cricket practices on friday last year but this year you have scouting have they changed the practice days so here normally in fridays lahiru had cricket practices but now he has scouting so mother is asking whether they have changed the dates of practices Yes, they have. The coach decided to change the practice days. The teacher in charge will send you a letter with the new days. So now they have changed the dates. And on Friday, Lahiru has scouting. Uh, is Ilham staying after school with you? Yes, mother and Krishna too. So who else doing scouting with Lahiru? Ilham and Krishna. All three of them are doing scouting. Ah, oh, that's good. You can share your lunch with your friends. What time will you finish? At 5. So, uh, they finish scouting at 5 o'clock. Mother, can you ask Darren's mother to bring my scout logbook? He took it home last week and he's not well and I need the logbook today. Here, now this Lahiru is asking his mother to call Darren's mom. Why? Because Darren has the scouting logbook of Lahiru. And now he cannot return it back. Darren can't return it back because he is not well. And I need the logbook today. And now he need the logbook. So he is asking Darren's mother to bring it. Mother. Alright, I will ask her. Here is your bottle of water. Take your cap and the scout uniform. So what are the three things that he is taking? Bottle of water, cap and the uniform. Ah, there come the, comes the bus. Bye sister. Bye, where is your cap? Oh, I forgot it. Can you get it for me please? It's on my table. Here you are. Bye, bye. So that's it. So what um, he has forgotten to take his cap and he, his sister is helping him to take it back. So where is it? It is on his table. So this is the small act out given here. Uh, so now we can uh, move on to the activity number two. That is the reading comprehension activity. Uh, here to do this, do this activity you should know these words. When, who, by and what. Here I have written those words. So when we are asking questions we can use these words. When, who, why and but we call them WH questions. When we use these words, we call these uh, questions WH questions. So, when? Where can we use this? 
when we need to ask about a time or a day, we can use when. When is your birthday? Cover that. Can I can I dava sakari velava kari hanavanang up to when can I use karana pulva? Who when we asking about a person or people? Who is your best friend? How the can I gana hana put a tamayapi? Who I can use karana and why? When we need to know the reason or the purpose for something, we have to use why. Why didn't you come to school yesterday? Ay, ayo 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 pasa lave nate. The last one. What? When uh, asking for information about anything. What is your name? What is your school? What is your village? Like that. So when we have to ask information, we, have, we can use what. When, who, why and what. In Sinhala, cover the, cow the, a, mokak the. These are the words. So if you, um, if you don't know these words, you have to copy them down into your writing book. And then we can move on to the activity number two. When does Lahiru have scout practices? When means when we are asking about a time or a day. So when does Lahiru have scouting practices? Lahiru has scouting practices on Friday morning or evening. Evening. So you have to write Lahiru has scout practices on Friday evening. Who has taken Lahiru's logbook? Now who is the person here? In the end of this part, you can find his name. I'm not going to tell you. You have to write the name. Name the friends who do scouting with Lahiru. So, who are the friends? There are two friends. Ilham and Krishna. You have to write. Why has Darren not written Lahiru's book? So, why is the reason? Now, here, I, ha I have underlined this word, returned. This is in the past tense. So the answer is also, uh, you have to, the answer also should be in the past tense. So Darren has not returned the book because he is, because he was ill. Here the question starts with why. Why kelehani ai kelehani So why has Darren not returned the Lahiru's book? Because he was ill. Why was Lahiru in a hurry to go. Why was he? Why again? Why was he, uh, he in a hurry? Because the bus has already arrived. The bus has arrived. Number six. What did Lahiru forgot, forget to take with him? And where was it? He forgot to take something. Here I forgot it. What is it? It is the cap. And where is it? It is given here. So you have to uh, read it again. So first in the first activity you have to read this act out aloud. And when you are doing the activity number two you can read this silently and find the answers. And don't forget to remember these words also. That's all for today. You can complete both activity one and activity two.